Many times you'll encounter a situation where a standard kick shot won't suffice. To ensure contact with the object ball, the angle of rebound will need to be altered by using English. The problem lies in determining the quantity of English that needs to be applied to the cue ball to achieve this goal. Fortunately, the table diamonds are capable of providing a few hints. The cue ball is approximately seven times the width of the cue tip. Because of this, English is sometimes measured in tips. Since the middle tip is a center ball hit, this leaves three tips of English on each side of the cue ball. Although using any more than two tips is not recommended, a maximum of three tips can be used if absolutely necessary. If you were to aim directly across the table using the diamonds as a guide, the natural roll of the cue ball with no English will bring the cue ball straight back to you. Applying left English to this same shot will cause the cue ball to come off the cushion and head to the left, while right English will cause it to go right. Predicting how much English will alter the natural roll of the cue ball is simple. Each diamond represents one tip of English. If you put on one tip of left English, the cue ball will travel one additional diamond to the left. Two tips will travel two diamonds, and three tips will travel three diamonds. The same applies to right English, each tip of English representing an additional diamond. The great thing about this system is that it works in almost any situation. For instance, if you kick the cue ball across the table and over two diamonds, the rules of kicking with English still apply. Adding one tip of right English will still make the cue ball travel one additional diamond, two tips will travel two diamonds, while three tips will travel three diamonds. The trick to this system is the speed of your stroke. A nice soft stroke and follow through should increase the consistency of the system. With a small amount of practice, it will prove to be both practical and dependable.